Jane here and we are here for part one, two, three, four, five of the DC Superhero Girls unboxing. Today is Supergirl. So we're going to start with the back of the box like we always do. Hometown, the planet Krypton, personality, Supergirl is fun, optimistic, resilient and more than just a little naive. Superpowers, super strength, flight, invincibility, super hearing, heat vision and x-ray vision. Talk about overpowered. Super accessories. Supergirl never goes anywhere without her cape. Best super friends. Batgirl and Wonder Woman. Favorite class. Forensics. I'm sorry. Forensies. Forensies. Adjusting to Earth for aliens. All right, let's open her up. They look like they've actually changed the packaging so they're a little bit easier to get into. A little bit easier, not really easy. Supergirl. So we've got uh, Supergirl's ID card here. I think these are really cool little extras to go with the dolls. So um, these are pretty cute. Uh, superpowers, super strength, flight, invincibility, super hearing, heat vision, x-ray vision. And uh, then we've got a little description on the back. Uh, Supergirl's the most powerful teen in the universe, which we know because Superman and Supergirl are crazy overpowered. Um, Supergirl is the most powerful teen in the universe, but she's also a little clumsy as she learns to control her awesome powers. Like her cousin Superman, Supergirl is from the planet Krypton. She is not only a new student at Superhero High, she is also new to Earth. She's sweet, innocent and optimistic and wants to learn everything about her adopted world. So her cape, I very quickly found out, is detachable. And it, um... She's got like a little... Oh, oh, that's actually really cool. So she has a little necklace on there under her shirt. And the cape... Actually clips onto that, if I can get it on both sides. It's supposed to clip onto that. Hair's in the way. There we go. I think. Not. Nope. This is, um, at first I thought it was really cool, but this is actually quite difficult to get to click onto that. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do this without the cape. <laughs> so, Supergirl. We've got the, um, oh, I've made a mess. <laughs> there we go. We've got the um, classic Supergirl skirt outfit uh, coupled with some, she's got some socks and some um, high top sneakers. I never got Supergirl's outfit. I never, ever got it. She flies, which is pretty cool. And then she wears a skirt. You just you just see right on up there, and uh, well, she, she's also not wearing undies. Seems a little bit pointless. <laughs> um, Supergirl is your um, pretty classic blonde heroine, so she's really not that different from Barbie. Um, the other characters have a more practical outfit for sort of everyday wear and while a dress is certainly practical, she flies and she wears a dress. You just just see right up on in there all the time. Um, I've never really, big, um, never really been a big fan of Supergirl or Superman for that matter. They just seem really overpowered to me. Um, so if I wasn't collecting all of the dolls, I probably wouldn't have got Supergirl. 
And again, there's nothing wrong with the doll. It's actually a cool little doll. It's got little super symbol on the front there and it's fine. The other ones were all a bit different. This one is a fairly standard doll. So nothing wrong with Supergirl if you're a fan. I can definitely see why you'd want to pick this one up. But um, for me, she's just not that interesting. And there hasn't been an upgrade to the costume really. So there's Supergirl. So that's it from me this time, guys. I will catch you next time. Have a good one. Bye! Let's see if I can get the dumb cape on. Okay. How are you even... It's, it's really not... They go from having hard boxes to hard accessories. Ah, there we go. I got it. I got it. It's, I got it. Just, um... Doesn't? There it goes.